Hi everyone. Um, the official lockdown in Denmark, of course, has begun. Today is the first day. It seems like there's a calm over the whole country. Very few movement and uh, people are, of course, uh, dawned with a new reality of life, at least for the next, we could say, 14 days. Um, I'm making this recording in order to just uh, encourage you at the same time give you a little advice not that you need any because in reality people are bombarded uh, with information from all kinds of place um, the most important thing is uh, i want to advise you to please ensure that uh, the sources of your information are accurate um, and authentic the credibility of those people giving you the information is very important for those of you in Denmark, of course, uh, I would refer you to the National Board of Health as well as the Serum Institute, where you can get the most accurate, up-to-date, latest information. As a matter of fact, I think uh, in a time like this, uh, you might either be over-informed or under-informed. And over-informed sometimes could make you to overreact, and under-informed may make you to underreact. The most important thing is to be balanced, please, in the information you received. And like we mentioned earlier, be calm and be vigilant. That's very important. And um, in, during this period, there's also, a, in a sense, quite an irony because uh, socially you're supposed to somehow isolate yourself in one way or another. And yet we are social creatures. We, are, we, we tend to want uh, to have a, to talk to somebody or meet somebody or uh, at least uh, be in, in fellowship with someone. And um, uh, just understand you can always do this in many forms rather than the traditional forms. Um, try to be occupied uh, with your families when you're together and sometimes when you're spending too much of time together, <laughs> there could be a tendency of uh, uh, rubbing each other the wrong way. Um, my advice is uh, Besides just being glued to a screen, try to also uh, take some time, maybe playing some board games together, or like my family does. We spend uh, a little time every day uh, reading the Bible together and uh, praying together. Of course, we pray for everybody, including you. I want to also uh, encourage you to keep your spirits high. Uh, it's very easy to go into a downward spiral of being in panic or in fear or even in despair. But um, try to reach out to others uh, by social means, in terms of social media or maybe even telephone call or, and uh, encourage. You know, encouragement is a beautiful thing when you give encouragement, you actually get encouragement back. Uh, keep your spirits high, you know, um, and this thing will be over uh, in a couple of months, uh, maybe even weeks. We might be looking back at this uh, chapter and realize that, hey, we actually pulled through. Um, God is still there and he is still uh, in control you know, over everything, including our very lives to the most minute details. So as usual, do not panic. Just uh, take it easy, be calm, and we shall overcome this. And my encouragement uh, for this uh, season is try and meditate on Psalm 91. It's a beautiful psalm. And uh, as you meditate on it, Remember 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, that God wants to heal our land. And it's a conditional promise uh, as long as we humble ourselves and seek His face and turn away from our wicked ways. Uh, I believe that God always uh, is able to turn the most ugliest of scenarios to that which is beautiful because He makes all things beautiful in His time. Amen. So, um, stay calm, take it easy. Um, we want to encourage you to go to our homepage, uh, getintouch.dk, where you can uh, get a hold of the latest sermon or, or at least the latest uh, preaching that took place yesterday, which was uh, really a uh, first time for us doing it on media. And of course, we want to continue to stay in touch with you. Uh, for those of you who need to be in touch with us, our email is uh, info at getintouch.dk. Meantime, stay blessed. I pray that the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you. And that the Lord will lift up his countenance and give you peace, give you shalom. God bless you. Stay blessed and we'll stay in touch. Bye-bye.